The Forest fans' rendition of Mullen Kintar, one of the great soundtracks of English football. Nottingham Forest in their Gary Baldy red and Manchester United in their change kits. We're underway, this Emirates FA Cup fifth round tie. It's away by Murillo. Lindelof put under pressure by the on-rushing Awanyi. Looks like Origi has started out on this right-hand side, maybe a 4-2-3-1, uh, the way that uh, Forrest are without the ball anyway. Yeah, and Gibbs-White is going to play in the number 10 role. And Alang has gone out to the left-hand side, and just for Manchester United, Alang is going to play on the left-hand side of the two centre-backs, Lindelof on the right, Amrabat is at left-back, not a good start for him with that pass. But watch out for Amrabat going into midfield, and allowing McTominay to play further forward. Well, we've touched on the defeat here at the end of December a couple of times. This is a pretty similar setup to that which caused Manchester United so many problems. Morgan Gibbs White and Anthony Alanga attacking the space between the Manchester United defence and midfield, which is what Fulham were able to do at the weekend. And here's Gibbs White quickly out to Alanga. And Wanyi's in the middle, so to Origi. First corner of the night for Nottingham Forest. Yeah, Anthony did well there coming back. That's a good switch of play from Gibbs White. Langa 1v1 against Dallow. I actually think Dallow's a fairly decent defender. But Anthony helped him out on that occasion. Got back really well. And Manchester United, who throughout this season have been uncharacteristically porous, one of their worst defensive performances in their recent history at this stage of a season in all competitions. First big chance for Nottingham Forest to lay a blow on their guests here. Gibbs White stands over it. Tomine away, Danilo and Gibbs White. Dallo, Bruno Fernandes and Garnacho. You get the feeling he could play a central role in proceedings tonight, Alejandro Garnacho. You get the feeling you might need to. Amrabat, a Moroccan international, recently back from uh, African Cup of Nations duty. That'll just be a goal kick. Or will it? It did take a touch corner given off Felipe. Yeah, key player, Garnacho. Part of that Manchester United youth side that won the FA Youth Cup two or three years ago. And he's starting to really realise his potential now. And this has been a problem area all season for Nottingham Forest, defending set pieces. Manchester United play short, Bruno Fernandes along the ground, it's teed up and it's rattled across bar. Off the training ground and Anthony very nearly on the score sheet and very nearly giving Manchester United the perfect start. Well, it's a brilliant set play here. They set it up short, everybody runs towards the six-yard box, leaving Anthony that little bit of space. The pass is perfect for him. And he strikes, the goalkeeper's beaten. No chance for Turner had that been on target. Well worked on the coaching field. He knows exactly what he's doing here, Bruno Fernandes. He does take a tumble after being fouled by Origi, really. Nico Williams couldn't quite keep that one in play. He's had a good run in the side, actually, Nico Williams, since uh, Nuno Espirito Santo took over from uh, Steve Cooper. Just his second FA Cup start of the season, though. And Forrest have certainly maxed out their FA Cup appearances this season so far. Two rounds, but they've had to play four ties, replays. They run it late on into extra time in Blackpool in round three. And then here all the way to penalties in the last round against Bristol City.
Anthony. Akate started at left back, sorry Stewart at the weekend. That was an experiment that didn't really work out. That's why Harry Toffolo has been brought back in. Yeah, that could be a good battle, Anthony against Toffolo. It's been a decent start by Anthony. Defended well to start with. And then almost got past his man. Fallo. Anthony. Always looked to work it onto his left. Of good battles, okay. Williams and Garnacho going at it. You can already see that Nottingham Forest are going to try and be very compact in midfield, they're not going to press the ball too high up the field and then try and play on the counter. Anthony To go back a long way since these two sides last met in the FA Cup 1991. Met more recently in the League Cup, it was a semi final two legged and Manchester United comfortable winners. That was last season. The time 1991 was notable in the extreme in Manchester United's history. Strong rumours that uh, Alex Ferguson, as he was then, if he'd lost that tie, he would also have lost his job. Hadn't won a trophy three seasons into his reign that player called Mark Robbins got the winning goal. They went on to lift the FA Cup this se that season and the rest is history. The same Mark Robbins that has got Coventry City into the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Correct. Oh, McTominay drawing the save. Bruno Fernandes. Anthony. And that's more comfortable for the American in the Nottingham Forest goal, Matt Turner. Well, that's what McTominay's been doing over the last couple of seasons, making runs into the box. Once he gets there, I think he should do a lot better. Great cross from Dallow. McTominay just makes the run from midfield, gets in between the two centre-halves, really has to put it in one of the corners. An easy save, I would say, for Turner in the end. Murillo. He has scored some very important goals for Manchester United and Scotland. Scott McTominay. Yeah, and plenty of them as well. Seven in his last ten for his country, and he is the top scorer for Manchester United this season in all competitions with eight. Good burst from Dibok Origi. Amrabat can't stay with him. Origi powering it straight. And Andre Onana in the Manchester United goal. Well, there's the problem with Amrabat. Plan at left back. He hasn't got blistering pace. Divock Origi has, that's his major strength. But a fairly weak finish at the end of it. Hasn't started a match, the uh, Belgian international Divock Origi, since the last round. Penalty shootout win against Bristol City. He scored in that game. His only goal so far for the club. It's been a season that's been disrupted by injury. Toffolo now for Alanga. Looking to make a mark against his former club, the club that sold him in the summer. All good tracking back from Anthony. Yes, yes, yes. I would suggest that Alanga's been better value for money for Nottingham Forest than Anthony has been for Manchester United. I don't think you get too many arguments there. It hasn't been a smooth transition from the Eredivisie to the Premier League for Anthony. Having said that, he started brightly and may well have opened the scoring. We need to get back here because Toffolo certainly getting forward. A little nudge and a corner for the home side. He did have to get back. Dallow got dragged into a midfield position. Anthony has got pace, there's no doubt about that and defended it well enough. Toffolo certainly wasn't going to beat him to the ball, but he has given away a corner, he got a little nudge as well. Oh, 
It's in a fabulous set-piece routine. Nearly poor fruit for Manchester United. Let's see what Morgan Gibbs-White has in store here. Plenty of interested parties wearing red. Too much on it, though, for the assembled company. Yeah, not a good one from Morgan Gibbs-White. I think he was probably trying to get it in and around the goalkeeper. That's where most of the Nottingham Forest players were. And he's had a mixed couple of years, isn't he? This man here, Nuno. Did brilliantly for a time at Wolverhampton Wanderers. Had a very poor experience at Spurs. Then to the Saudi Pro League, where he had a... Uh... A happy start with Al had, but a not-so-happy ending, relieved of his duties midway through this season. And this was under the Forest game after they decided to part company with the man who brought them into the Premier League after that long exile, Steve Cooper. See that Manchester United have had all the possession so far, 79%. Not always in the top third of the field, but in these sort of areas because Nottingham Forest aren't going to try and challenge possession here. There's Amrabat going into that midfield position I was talking about. He did it brilliantly for the first couple of games he played for United. Once again, with all the injuries they have, they found themselves short in that left-back position, and Antoine's uh, being asked to reprise that role today. Will leave opportunities, though, for Nottingham Forest if they can get it right down this side. Good energy from Rashford, leading the Manchester United press. Danilo. Toffolo. Now Gibbs-White. Beyond Casemiro, advantage play, Gibbs White, purposeful, but not quite precise enough. Now Garnacho can bring it out for Manchester United. Williams in pursuit. Felipe out to stop the run from the Argentinian. Here's Yates. And that last bit of play would be a worry for Eric Ten Hag, the way that Gibbs White went past Casimiro as if he wasn't there. There was question marks about Casimiro's fitness. And, he was, and he's actually calling to the bench already. I think he might want to come off here. He's either calling to the bench or having to go at Garnacho, one of the two. Well, the reason for his early departure against uh, Fulham was a nasty clash of heads with Harrison Reid. He needed lengthy treatment. Ten Hag saying he'd been examined and there was no uh, sign of any concussion. It was just a cut to his head. No doubt about it, he hasn't been able for a whole plethora of reasons being able to uh, hit the standards he did last year for Manchester United. Expensively recruited former Real Madrid midfielder. And one year. And Langer makes that near post dart. Dallo went with him. Williams now. To Yates. Murillo. And Langer. Not sure either you or I have mentioned Rashford so far. Hardly had a kick in the first 14 15 minutes here. This is Origi. Now a one year. Didn't quite catch it right. Lindelof able to block anyway. Forrest get the corner. Well, eventually defended it well enough, but to start with, he allowed a one year just to run off of him. Varane starts coming towards the ball. Lindelof. Let him get away, and then made a couple of good challenges in the end. But he is a threat with his movement, and his power and his pace. So 
Yeah, the forest footballer. attacks these last couple of minutes are just carrying a bit more menace, aren't they? Gibbs White sizing up his options. by Varane, a swing from Alanga, and a clearance from Amrabat. Casemiro did break that up, now Rashford, Anthony, McTominay, Seeking Garnacho, but only finding Williams. And that last bit of play was much better from Casimiro. That's what you expect for him. Really good interceptor of passes. Makes good challenges. Can be a bit aggressive at times and get away with one or two naughty challenges. He's on the edge, doesn't he? Here's Amrabat. That's provided by Anthony. McTominay. Rashford! Well, McTominay again, making that forward run, finding that bit of space. He does it so well. He's not the most creative of players, but he just runs off the back of his marker there. That was Gibbs White that allowed him to run. Ball just bobbling up. That's why it was difficult for Rashford to keep it down. He's trying to wrap his foot round it to keep it down. But better from United. A couple of good chances now. One for Rashford, one for McTominay. He hasn't been able to produce anything like the numbers he uh, was hitting in the second half of last season, Marcus Rashford. Well, that's a loose touch from Varane, a one year onto it for Forrest. And a save by Anana. And Dallow on the scene to tidy up. Well, a couple of poor bits of play, the first one from Amrabat with the pass, then Varane doesn't really move his feet quickly enough. White. Origi. Alanga. Gibbs White. Did you see there, Forrest, when they do get good possession, they find it more difficult to break down the opportunity. Now they've worked it quite well. Ilanga. Here's Yates. Toffolo. Langa. This is good build up. Williams. All hands on deck for Manchester United. Williams in. Yates. Couldn't quite bring it under his spell, and Gibbs White knows that that boot was a little high. Making contact with Rashford, although there was no bad intent, he'll give away a free kick for that. Well, that was good build-up play from Nottingham Forest. A couple of switches of play. They worked it well down that left-hand side. This is the second cross that came in from the right. Was there a shout for handball? 
He did swing his arm. Rafa Varane. There's the bad pass from Amrabat. Oh, and he had a little look, there was no support. Probably the shot was going wide. Nana wasn't to know that. And he makes a decent save in the end with his right hand. Missed ten games through injury towards the end of uh, 2023. Did Taiwo Awanyi, but uh, back with some important goals. One here against Arsenal in a late fight back that proved to be in vain, and uh, also in that really important win in their last home game in any competition against West Ham. They're going to seize onto it there. Lindelof meaty enough in the challenge, though. Williams outnumbered. Garnacho. Bruno Fernandes looking for Rashford. Felipe seemed to have a little more appetite for the challenge than Rashford there. Danilo dropping it in behind. Awanyi trying to get round Lindelof. And not being able to resist the temptation to just push back at him. That's the ball that could cause Manchester United problems. That ball played in behind Lindelof and Varane. A player with plenty of experience, but not quite so much pace. Varane was one of the quickest players in Europe at one stage in the world, but he's not quite as quick these days. I don't think Lindelof has ever been blessed with great pace. But he reads the game well. Here's Yates, the hometown boy. Gibbs White. And now Origi. He'll settle for the corner off Amrabat. Never really did enough there, did he, Divock Origi? 1v1 against Amrabat, who struggled at left back so far in the game. I'd like to have seen him drop his shoulder and take it to the byline. Just test Amrabat out. comes Felipe yet to score for Nottingham Forest likewise Murillo the two center halves At the halfway point of the first half Nottingham Forest nil Manchester United nil Gibbs White delivers Murillo got the final contact on it, but couldn't divert it goalwards. Yeah, good delivery. Murillo attacking it well. She just can't get above it. Forest fans have certainly enjoyed him since he uh, arrived from Corinthians back in the summer. A young Brazilian. He did the only one but he did have a tricky afternoon particularly in the first half at uh, Villa Park at the weekend you know, Espirito Santo admitting that he didn't get the balance of the side quite right it was an experiment that didn't quite pay off Anthony penalised for a handball. It's Anthony, the Brazilian, who has come uh, closest to opening the scoring here at the city ground. An early drive from a well worked set piece that rattled the crossbar. Turner. 
on by Williams. Brian Yates. Toffolo to Alanga. And take on Dallo. Plenty of pace about that, but in going up through the gears, he lost a little bit of close control. Yeah, good position that Toffolo took up there. He got beyond Anthony. Created the 2v1 against Dallo. Langer's shown plenty of pace, but no real control so far on that left-hand side. He's run into players, made the wrong decision on a couple of occasions. Not been that effective. I think a lot of Forest fans expected uh, Matt Sells, the Belgian international, to be in goal tonight. He wasn't eligible for the last round, having joined in between the original time, the replay against Bristol City, but he could have played tonight. He's not included, though, in the match day squad at all. Greek international Odysseus Vlakodimos is the substitute goalkeeper. And this is Anthony for Manchester United. For Dallow. that in midfield again and Varan Garnacha Bruno Fernandes Anthony. Forrest <laughs> looking to sit in and contain. And Nacho looking to burst through the red ranks. Well, that's what he can do, he can take people on. On that occasion, it was a front player, Ari goes past him easily. And there's the arm across the shoulder of Garnacho that brings him down. Once again, it would be Bruno Fernandes on the free kick. To take it on or to tee it up, that's what the Portuguese has to decide. And he does neither. That's about as poor as it could possibly be, really. Straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. I think he was looking for the runs of his centre-backs, but just got too much on it, Bruno Fernandes. Centre-back who scored at the weekend, Harry Maguire, not available today. Another spell on the sidelines for him. Dallo. He's really the only fit out-and-out -out, uh, experienced full-back. This is Origi now for Forrest. Over it goes. Come on, Manchester United causing their own problems there. The pass from McTominay was just in behind Bruno Fernandes. It doesn't really move his feet anywhere near quickly enough. But a poor effort from Origi getting underneath it. Oh, yeah. With a couple on target. Nottingham Forest uh, buying more tickets for the raffle, as the saying goes. But the better chances have come. Manchester United's way. Looking at all tonight's ties in the uh, 
Emirates FA Cup, a lot of people feeling that this one had the potential to uh, go all the way to uh, extra time and penalties. And half an hour play. Not too much we've seen here to suggest that may not be the case. Well, he was trying to cut across it. Oh, there's Bruno Fernandes to play it out to that far side. There's Sir Alex Ferguson now. Or a few people have mentioned to him that Mark Robbins goal in this ground in uh, 1991. Maybe he's even telling Sir Dave Browsford about it now. Origi. He won't give this one up. Banana. Almost got himself in trouble, and got it away. Anthony Garnacho Anthony again bouncing feet from Dallo promise for Manchester United and a save from Turner to deny McTominay Really good play from Dallo down that right-hand side. When the ball came to him, he was under a bit of pressure. Watch how he just opens up his body. A couple of little drag backs, good bit of pace and a lovely ball into the box. And also a good header from McTominay. Once again showing his appetite to get forward, get into the box. Seems to know where the space is. He actually gets it on target. Good save as well from Turner. In by Bruno Fernandes, ended up coming through to Varane and McTominay. Acrobatic, but not exactly effective. A lot of movement in the box. Forrest don't defend the first one particularly well. Very hopeful from McTominay. Manchester United and Eric Ten Hag on the road again, their third away tie so far in this season's cup run. Wins at Wigan and Newport have brought them to this stage. At the moment they've got to the quarter-final 47 times, which is a joint record with Everton. They'll go out on their own if they win here this evening. Tomine trying to facilitate that, he's found Garnacho. by Murillo. Garnacho. And it all comes to out for Manchester United. Yeah, we haven't seen the best of Garnacho in the game so far. There, when the ball was switched to him, it's a little bit slow to make a decision what to do, whether to go past his man, come inside and get a shot away. All petered out on him. Such an important night this, particularly for Manchester United, given the expectations for silverware that the club has. The FA Cup very much the last chance of that this season. Look at the number of defeats they've had in all competitions, 10 defeats last season's tally. And this actually the most defeats at this stage of a season in the Premier League era. Certainly not seen enough of that man there, Marcus Rashford. Yes, it's difficult, he's playing up front by himself and he's got two defenders up against him, but he's got to make more runs in behind, he's got to make himself more available, got to show more energy. Oh, 
lot of attacking play for Manchester United coming down the sides rather than through the middle. Isn't much space down the middle. So Anthony and Garnacho need to be at their best to get crosses in. Eric Ten Hag being spoken to by the referee Chris Kavanagh. A word out of turn, but not sufficient to get a caution. Got a bit of stick off Jurgen Klopp at the weekend throughout the Carabao Cup game. Toffolo with his work cut out to keep that in. first broke into the team as a youngster and had such an impact it was as a centre forward and that at times he started to go out into the wide areas and become more productive and the goals of Rasmus Hoyland started off the season only scoring in the Champions League and uh, recently has found his uh, Premier League scoring touch seven in the last six outings but now injury which will rule him out Certainly for the next couple of weeks, certainly of this one, certainly of the Manchester derby that is looming large at the weekend. That's the uh, next Premier League commitment for Eric Ten Hag and his side. And there's another poor touch from Marcus Rashford. He's got to hold up the play or set other players up. Which is what Hoyland was doing so well as well as scoring, wasn't he, the young 21-year-old? Well, there were a couple of games where he looked the complete centre-forward, didn't he, Hoyland? A few early on when he looked far from it, you have to say. Anthony going down easily, according to the Nottingham Forest fans over on that far side. Toffolo, the player that just clipped his heels. As we said, it's a good battle on that far side of the field. Both players having a bit of joy. Without wanting to tempt fate, I think it's fair to say that neither Eric Ten Hag or uh, Nuno Espirito Santo, with the injury list they've got, with the fixes they've got up and coming in the league at the weekend, will want to allow this one to drift towards extra time, an extra half an hour of football here. Well, they always say that, and that's probably what's going through their yeah. mind, but so often it does drift into extra time. Tomine. Murillo committed early and Rashford ran into him. Had he taken a better touch, there's every possibility he might have won a penalty there. He took his touch into the right space. I don't think anybody's been in complete control of the game so far, 38 minutes into it, Nuno was trying to play on the counter-attack, which has allowed them to get some shots away, but no real clear-cut chances. And Manchester United with McTominay have had a couple, the bar that was hit by Anthony early on from the set play. Side the decision signaled by Chris Kavanagh. Ashford second best to Felipe. Murillo. Again, Rashford had the ball taken off of him and threw his arms up in despair. Whether that was at the pass or his own performance, but 
He's certainly got to liven up. Tomanek. Rashford. Amrabat. Back out by Ryan Yates. Well, Yates did well to get back. Amrabat couldn't find the right pass, but that was Rashford going wider. Allowing Garnacho to go through the middle on that occasion. Rashford. Bruno Fernandes, McTominay, blocked by Murillo. He certainly changed his style of play, hasn't he, McTominay, over the last couple of years? Very much a sitting player for a while when he first got into the side. Now he's a player that loves to get forward, get into the box, create and score goals. Not so much with his passing, but just with his movement and determination to get in the box. Do we have to credit the Scotland head coach, Steve Clark, with unlocking that side of his game? More on that in a moment, because certainly coming forward is Gibbs White. Now a Wanyi, Ilanga. Williams drills it. And it wasn't a million miles away from Nico Williams. Well, his first touch was excellent. It was a bit ponderous, the counter-attack by Nottingham Forest on that occasion. Just looked as though they'd lost the momentum here. But in the end, they find a decent ball. Langer out to the full-back. He had players in the box to find, but he goes for the shot himself. Again, he's trying to cut across it to try and control it. But just slightly gets underneath it. Ball always rising. But yes, back to your point, I think Steve Clark has to take a lot of credit for changing the way McTominay has played his game. Garnacho. No foul. Chance for Yates to get his head up. Pick a good-looking ball to Gibbs White. Gibbs White. Elanga. One year screaming for it, gets it, fires it over. And that's one of the problems, I think, with the front players for Nottingham Forest. And they're good when they're running in behind people. They've got excellent pace, but in tighter areas and decision-making, they don't always get right. And this is a poor decision. One year, on his left foot, was never going to hit the target there. High, wide and handsome. Durant. Tomine. Anthony, Rashford. Here's Bruno Fernandes. Blocked by Felipe. And Malanga. Come to Gibbs White. Play on, says Chris Kavanagh. And that's what Origi will look to do. Back by Nico Williams. A chance for Garnacho to carry out in the last minute. Getting word that there's going to be one added minute. Garnacho got lucky there. He stopped tracking Williams. He just watched him. Williams couldn't quite find the right pass. Anthony. Casemiro. Zemiro again. A 
And so another pass to play for Casimiro. Nice little one-two around Gibbs White. Could he have found Anthony, who had made a decent run for him? Not a great effort from Casimiro in the end, who did start scoring goals for Manchester United, particularly with his head. He scored in the league meeting at Old Trafford this season, did uh, Casimiro. And the owner is here tonight, Evangelos Marinakis. Is it fair to say he hasn't really enjoyed the first half, looking at that? I don't think you need to be a body language expert to come to that conclusion, do you? Murillo looking long for Route 1 for Morgan Gibbs-White. And that's that. The quantity of the chances certainly going the way of Nottingham Forest. The quality, probably Manchester United. Scott McTominay with a couple of brothers look to encourage their side on to claim that quarter-final place. You mentioned it at the start of the game, Muller Kintyre. Any reason why? Yes, but I won't go into it now. <laughs> That's long by Turner. And what the two goalkeepers had to make the more significant stops in the first half. Sofia Namrabat to Garnacho. McTominay made the run ahead of him. Just look at Garnacho furious with himself that he didn't take the most of it. Yeah, just a misunderstanding there. McTominay thought he was going to run offside, so just held his run. And that was the time that Garnacho played the ball. We saw from the stats in the first half, most of the attacks were coming down the wide areas for both teams. I have to say the wide players didn't make enough of the situations. There weren't enough crosses coming into the box. In the 1v1 confrontations, the defenders came out on top most of the time, I would say. Need more from Garnacho for Manchester United, maybe more from Anthony. Certainly more from Alanga for Nottingham Forest. Danilo for Forrest, into Alanga. Breezes beyond Casemiro. Anthony got back well to hold him up. And that sums up what I was saying. He goes past the first challenge, another defender comes across and it ends up with nothing really happening. The situation is a really good one for him. It's swept out to him, he's 1v1. Goes past Casemiro, but Anthony does really well, coming back defending. Another poor decision by Alanga, when to play the pass, when to get his shot away, when to cross it. But that's what the manager, Ten Hag, wants from Anthony. Not just going forward, he wants him to be better defensively. The frustration for uh, a lot of the Manchester United supporters with regards to Anthony is how predictable he is. He always seems to want to go back onto his left foot. Well, there's so many players around the world now that are left-footed and play on the right-hand side, and they do chop it onto their left foot and whip crosses in. Mares did it for Manchester City for years, but they also had the ability to chop it the other way and go on their right foot at times. Here's Felipe. Is possessed by Bruno Fernandes. Oh, the foul Fernandes in trying to win it back. Garnacho will play on. And then eventually lose out. And again, another example of a wide play not making the most of the situation. Yates. Threading it through. Elanga. He won you with him. It's Taiwo Awanyi. It's saved by Andrea Nana. 
And it's a big chance that goes a begging for Nottingham Forest. Here's a big chance as well. He's got to go for that far corner. Because Anana has to start coming across. He's moving his feet one way. Anything into the far post, he's beaten here. But it's too close to him. He gets down quickly. And one you with the strike. He hits it with enough power. Not quite far enough away. Maybe he was worried that Lindelof would get a block in if he went for the near post again. In by Gibbs White. Dallo knew Alanga was lurking behind him and couldn't take a chance. Forrest had the corner and they have the wind at their backs at the moment. Good start to the second half. End to end. Played at a decent tempo, great atmosphere inside the ground. Manchester United, man mark and zonal mark. Two or three players in the six-yard box, the players on the edge of the box, trying to get tight. Pushing and shoving in that. Banana decisive and effective. Back in by Gibbs Wide, who didn't beat the first man, Bruno Fernandes. International Nico Williams Origi too strong for Casemiro Divock Origi he gave it plenty Anana was its equal now Yates Williams again Good spell for Forrest, very nearly got a lot better. We've had two really good opportunities in this second half so far. And we're five and a half minutes into it. it was a good strike from Marie. He's very unfortunate, goes straight at the goalkeeper. All he was trying to do was hit it with power as he came infield. Rashford gives it away. Thinking that Forrest can... Uh, Keep their feet on the gas. Now by Bruno Fernandes. And Ryan Yates just to break up the momentum. Captain on captain. I think it's fair to say Bruno Fernandes has been fairly ineffective today. I know there's not been a lot of space down the centre of the pitch for him, but at times when that's the case, he will drift wider, create two V1s in the wide areas. Here's the chance again. Goes past Casemiro far too easily, then drags it onto his left foot. It's a lovely strike as well in terms of power and connection. But straight at Onana. Could he have been a bit more composed and passed it into one of the corners? Murillo.
Bruno Fernandes. Now well, by eight as he went to play it. Given that he's just done pretty similar to right eight, he can't have too many complaints. It's unlike Bruno Fernandes to complain too much. It's slightly late, it's not down the Achilles. He's caught around about the ankle, I would say. from Manchester United. I'm not quite sure what Varane was going to do with that. Howard Webb. And Mark Clattenburg. And Howard Webb, who is the head of the PGMO out. And Mark Clattenburg, who's been hired by Nottingham Forest as their referee consultant. Here's the challenge by Casemiro. Oh, I think he's been off the pace today. I've watched him a lot when he was at Real Madrid and for three or four seasons he was absolutely magnificent. He's also the referee on a very famous television game that's now been reintroduced to British TV, the Gladiators. Contenders ready? Two gentlemen, you saw that, two former referees who've both uh, taken charge of the uh, biggest club game in Europe, the Champions League final. There's a one year, listing in at that near post. Oh, Nottingham Forest wanted a corner. The assistant thought otherwise. Again, Forest don't mind Manchester United having the ball here. They don't try and press too high. They just drop off and then try and win the next ball that's played into midfield. Or we'll certainly put it under a bit of pressure. Press with Tomane, Bruno Fernandes, Anthony. Well, had he started it wider of the goal and bent it into the far corner, it might have been a slight problem for Turner. It actually bends straight in towards him. Rashford crowded out. Was he fouled? That's the big question. Felipe made plenty of contact with him. But Chris Kavanagh not seeing it as a foul. Well, this is going to be interesting. The VAR tonight is Darren Bond, who will be having a look at that just to check. There's no. Sign of a clear and obvious error in that. On first view, and it didn't look a particularly good challenge, did it? And that's why Manchester United are kicking the ball out of play, not just because Rashford is down, but now they've got time to have a look at it. There's the interception. Rashford, his first touch is a good one into the space. Two players, I'm not sure we're going to see from that angle. This is a better angle. Well, he's certainly bundled to the ground by Felipe coming round the back. Mm. Marilo also gives him a little nudge, but was it enough? Was it a clear and obvious error? 
I'm not sure it was. I think they're within playing distance of the ball, or they're closer to the ball than in the end Rashford was. I don't think that there will be enough in there for the uh, video assistant referee to uh, invite Chris Kavanagh to go and review his decision. One of those, perhaps, had he decided to give it, it wouldn't have been overturned, but this is one that's gone against Manchester United, and this is one that has left a little bit of a concern over Marcus Rashford. This is not a department in which they have plenty of options. Well, they're still hoping, probably, that something might be given. We haven't had a clear indication what the VAR has decided at the moment. Not a bench that the United fans will like the look of. I know it's young, it's got some talent there, but not ones that are going to change the game. And Amari Forson, who made his uh, full Manchester United debut the weekend in the defeat against Fulham, didn't last much uh, beyond half time before he was substituted. There's also Toby Collier, who was on the bench for the first time. Touched on at half time the fact that they've got a new face on there, Habib Ogunay. There's a full back though, there's the player who would wear number 75, 17 year old if he were to come on. To look at the list: Maguire, Martinez, Mount, Martial, Hoyland, Malasia, Juan Bissaka, all unavailable at the moment for Manchester United and Eric Ten Hag. Well, there's a player that I forgot was at Manchester United, Mason Mount. Hasn't had an impact at all, has he, since he's moved from Chelsea? No. And Fernandez giving away the free kick, having a frustrated figure. Williams has had a decent game at right back. On by Yates. Eight years since Manchester United last lifted this trophy. 1959, the last time Nottingham Forest got their hands on it. Just under half an hour of normal time to play here. Very hard to call which way this one's going to go. Anthony to Dallow. Back to Anthony. Bruno Fernandes. Fernandes with the curl up. Well, that's where he is, good in tight areas, playing little one twos. It's the only way he was going to get a shot away by using the outside of his right boot here. It's so difficult to keep down. He got enough power in it. Always rising, though. Linking up with Anthony. Good technique. Just get it in between the two Nottingham Forest players. There's Alanga, who should have done better on many occasions. He's been in the United box a lot throughout the game. It tells its own tale, that statistic, doesn't it? Nottingham Forest are having a right good go. Able to take their chances. And who's the most dangerous player for Manchester United? Scott McTominay. Had he got a better bench, I'm sure that we'd see the end of Marcus Rashford in this game because he just hasn't been effective. He hasn't worked hard enough, he hasn't held up the play, hasn't looked a real threat. Had that one shot in the first half set up by McTominay.
Danilo. Come out by Toffolo, but McTominay's there first. Back to McTominay. It was well marshalled by Ryan Yates. Yates did well there. Two or three times, McTominay's run off the back of him. Or Danilo. He was the wrong side here, but just gets back. Amrabat, Casemiro, Bruno Fernandes. This is Garnacho. Back to Bruno Fernandes, deflected wide. Well, this will be interesting. Was McTominay offside, or was it a big chance miss? Bruno Fernandes was. Obviously going for goal himself, but Tomane had already made the run into the box. No, he certainly wasn't offside, was he? Big chance for Manchester United. I'm not sure the initial shot would have beaten Turner. But McTominay just couldn't steer it goalwards. Actually got too much on it. This is a langer. Over to Gibbs White. Yates. Williams. An Argentinian World Cup winner who's part of Nottingham Forest squad. Is not included in the match day numbers today. Comes on a Monty Elston on his way back from injury. Oh, Garnacho got away with that. Williams has made a good run in behind him. Garnacho didn't see it at all. Better pass, and he was in the fullback. Diogo Dallo. Lindelof. Anthony. through the second half and we had to see any substitutions we had to see any goals no one you well that's all assistant referees are told he waited and waited it's a tight call as well look at the position of Dallow I'm not sure he was offside when the ball was played Lindelof puts his arms up and the assistant seemed to follow. Akil Hausen, the assistant on the far side. by Murillo and the foul by Anthony and Ryan Yates and we mentioned the Manchester United substitutes I think if you look at the Nottingham Forest bench you might be uh, 
more excited about the potential, particularly Callum Hudson-Odoi, who appears to be finding uh, a little bit of consistency. He scored in three of his last four outings. Nicolas Dominguez, the Argentinian midfielder, who's already scored against Manchester United on this ground this season. It's the American international, Gio Reyna. Many people thought he might get his first start for the club since joining on loan from Borussia Dortmund in January, but if he is to see action tonight, it will once again be from the bench. And players with the potential to sway things in Nottingham Forest's favour. Gio Brady is a player that needs to find his form at Nottingham Forest and get some game time. It's been a real struggle for him over the last couple of seasons. Had his problems at the World Cup. Certainly had his problems at Borussia Dortmund as well. Bruno Fernandes, short to Garnacho. Gets the angle Not by Murillo. Dano now for Manchester United. Bruno Fernandes. Easy one for Turner in the end. Starting to get more involved now, Bruno Fernandes, finding that little bit of space. Just short of the front players of United. He's contributed to the goals in this season's cup run. In fact, if you look back over his last five FA Cup ties, the numbers are good. Four goals in that particular run in this particular competition. Anthony. Bruno Fernandes. He's getting some shooting practice. And a man of his quality, you expect better. Lovely little lead, I think it was from Casemiro. There's where there was a challenge. McTominay on the fullback. Fullback goes down. Topolo. There's that little over I was talking about, and a weak shot in the end from Bruno Fernandes. Big chance for him. There is Ahmad Diallo, who is going to come on for Manchester United. We saw him at the weekend come on uh, in vain in terms of winning the match against Fulham. A frustrated figure. Is that of Anthony as he's withdrawn with 72 minutes on the clock? I'm certainly not sure he was Manchester United's worst player by any means in the attacking areas. Please, his manager, even though he's clearly lacking confidence going forward, he was working hard going back, wasn't he? He certainly was. Did a couple of really good defensive bits of work. Looked more industrious today. Thought he played with a little bit more confidence as well at times. So the 21 year old Ahmad is on. Ivory Coast. International who wasn't involved in that uh, AFCON success. Is ready for a reintroduction, so there we know enforced need for a substitution for Benuno just now. And the clock ticks on. A reminder if you do need it that this one will be finished tonight, whichever way it goes, and however far it goes. Extra time and penalties in reserve should they be required. Garnacho, 
McTominay again, a willing runner in the middle. Rashford. I think Garnacho and the United fans behind the goal are trying to claim there was a handball as Garnacho got in behind and tried to get the cross into the box. The referee's just holding up play here. Chris Kavanagh. Well, too many people appear appealing for United. Just the one, Garnacho. Mind you, who he was the closest to it. Here it is again. No. Felipe, the player, getting back. I think it comes off his hip almost. Frankly waved away by Chris Kavanagh. Moments after Manchester United have made their first change. And we're going to see one for Nottingham Forest. Callum hudson Adoy is stripped and ready for action. And looks like it's going to be Divo Carrigi who will make way. Amrabat. Garnacho. Didn't quite catch it right. Freshly introduced and not quite at the pace of the game, Ahmed. Garnacho coming in on his right foot as he's tried to do on numerous occasions. Shadow had that very good spell at Sunderland, didn't he? Yeah. 13 league goals he got in uh, 37 games at the Stadium of Light last season. Malanga bundled to the ground by Lindelof. And the Swede will get a yellow card. Once he gets on the wrong side here, Malanga cuts across him. And once he puts his arms out, there's always going to be a yellow card for Lindelof. There you go, round the neck, right in front of the referee. Actually steps on his heel as well. Here's the chance for Diallo. I think he's unsure whether to go with the inside of his foot or go with his laces. In the end, he got it completely wrong. Morgan Gibbs-White. Got the winner here in Premier League meeting in December. Felipe out by Amrabat. Nico Williams. Murillo. That's a go. Yeah, centre back getting it onto his left foot. Decent strike, but one that Anana probably saw most of the way. Yeah, he's got a good view of it, which started to swerve, which you don't often see when the ball's going along the ground. And it's getting to the stage of the game where we might start to see a little bit of caution thrown to the win. Garnacho seeking Rashford. Nick has done those covering runs pretty effectively for the most part tonight. Here comes Callum Hudson Adoy. Recent goals against Bournemouth, Newcastle, and here in the win against West Ham United. Showing signs that he will start to fulfil his considerable promise. Oh, Divock Origi. Did what Origi quite often does, look threatening. Made one or two good runs, had a couple of chances. Just lacks that bit of composure when he gets into the final third or doesn't always make the right decision.
4,000 Manchester United fans amongst the crowd of uh, just under 30,000 in the city ground tonight, making themselves hurt as their captain prepares to take this. Ahmad Diallo, this is Sofian Amrabat. Murillo on by Toffolo, who's caught late. Toffolo tracked by Ahmad Diallo, getting a pretty good looking ball in. Came through to Alanga, didn't appear to be quite ready for it. I think it's Gibbs White that throws himself at it, might get a slight touch on it. Really good play from Toffolo down this left hand side. Burst onto it here, good pace to go past Ahmad. Oh, just went underneath. Just went underneath the ball here, Gibbs White. And then a poor touch from Ilanga, who's moved to the right-hand side, and Hudson Adoy has come to the left here. Garnacho, Rashford. Marcus Rashford, he's in! And he's off target. Oh, good burst of pace, good first touch. Again, he must have been in two minds. Do I go for a shot or do I just let along across the six-yard box? Good ball played by Bruno Fernandes. He misses the target by quite some way in the end. That's a poor finish from Marcus Rashford. Slices across it. A really wasted opportunity. Grimaces where well, there might have been grins. Hoisted away by Anana, the Cameroon international. And that Fiala. The touch required. Here's Danilo. Elanga. Whipped in viciously. Well, thumbs up. But he didn't quite get there, did he? The one ye. Elanga. He's playing out on the right, up against Dallow, who's moved across to that side as well. Amrabat and Dallow have swapped for Manchester United. Just plays it into a good area. Zoran does well, just gets across the front of Awanyi. Lost by Ahmad Diallo. Collected by Awanyi, but he couldn't make the most of it. Now comes Amrabat. Garnacho in by Amrabat, McTominay, Casemiro. Well, they've seen a lot of shots like that throughout the game. Players trying to wrap their foot around it to control the ball, and so many of them have been just like that. Fraction too high. It's good power in it. Never looked like hitting the target. Ahmad for Manchester United. Six minutes plus added time before we get to extra time. Well, the crowd having to go up Rashford, but he was in an, on, an offside position. That's why he didn't make an attempt to go for it. Murillo.
Danilo. That's an Adoy. Oonyi to Yates. And now to Williams. And the door to have a run at Amrabat. First time we've really seen this. And Rockham repelled the first advance. Toffolo of Casemiro. Trent and urging Forrest forward. Toffolo obliging. Gibbs White waits in the middle. It's Gibbs White! Blasted it in Nana, who was able to make the save. Well, I'm not quite sure what Manchester United were doing there. They were trying to hold a high line. Eventually, the flag has gone up. But there's no real pressure on the ball. You can see he does make his run from an offside position. Toffolo. Gibbs White eventually gets the shot away. Good save by Anana, and then the flag goes up. Which I think is good officiating. Nathan experience being spoken to by the Manchester United head coach, Eric Ten Hag. As far changes kept to a minimum by both managers. I think the introductions of Kobe Mino and uh, Johnny Evans. It happen sooner rather than later. A little too eager that. Danilo has given away the free kick to Manchester United. We hear that one of the players coming off is Amrabat, who I think in the latter stage of this game has been quite influential for United. He's got on the ball more, he's playing more centrally. No, he starts at right back, he goes infield, he gets on the ball. He's been the spare player at times. Clearly a foul by Langer. What a great time to score here. Very hard to find a response if Manchester United can score here. The dying embers of the match. In by Bruno Fernandes and all the way in. Casemiro claims the touch. He says it's my goal. It's certainly Bruno Fernandes' contribution that is massively telling. And it's almost certainly Manchester United who will claim their place in the quarter-final and break Forest hearts right at the death. Well, it'd be interesting to see how this free kick from Bruno Fernandes finds its way into that sort of area. Nottingham Forest should have a player in the near post zone. Hudson Adoy is in completely the wrong position. He's far too high up the field. And there is the touch. A very faint touch from Casemiro. Get a better view from here. He whips it into a good area. As I said, Hudson Adoy is in the wrong position. And it's a really good touch from Casemiro. Certainly no foul. And there it is. Just enough to go between the legs of Matt Turner. 
maybe a place in the quarter-final of the FA Cup for Manchester United. Casemiro castigated at times this season for his contribution. And did he time his run? And the moment the ball was hit, was he in an offside position? Was there a block in there as well? And that's what the VAR Darren Bond is looking at. Well, it's Varane that was in an offside position and then might have blocked the run of one or two other players. Casemiro, I don't think, is offside. But I don't think Varane stops any of the other Nottingham Forest players getting to where Casemiro headed it in. We saw it in the Carabao Cup final. The goal that was disallowed for blocking by Endo. A subjective offside is what they call it. And this is deemed to have uh, been an offence, then Chris Kavanagh will be invited to go and have a look at the screen to give his view on it. Would Yates have got there? Is it Ryan Yates there, number 22, who's uh, looking to make that run and it's blocked off? If Varane is deemed to have done it, it's a silly thing to do, having just seen the Carabao Cup and the rules that were, imp were implied there. Nervous wait for Manchester United. A hopeful one for Nottingham Forest. But the ball should never have got that far. Nottingham Forest don't defend it very well. One of the Nottingham Forest players goes down. It probably is the player that Varane was blocking off. Well, he's cut himself, Varane, bleeding for the cause. But it's the away end that celebrates. As the review goes, Manchester United's way. Yeah, and I think in this case, quite rightly goes their way. I don't think Varane interfered with anybody that would have got to the ball. It's a silly thing to do, but real, really good determination from Casemiro. Is that a smile? A slight one from Sir Alex Ferguson. And Casemiro, who cut his head uh, in contact with Harrison Reed of Fulham at the weekend. You suspect that it's uh, a header in a similar position, which has opened up the cut again. Last-ditch stuff here, as Nottingham Forest look to stay in the cup. Double change. Rodrigo Ribeiro is on, and so too is Gio Reyna. Rodrigo Ribeiro, the Portugal under 20 international. Gio Reyna, 21 years old, on loan from Dortmund for the rest of the season. Be a fine time for him to make a mark here, but there is not much time for Forrest to try and find an equaliser. It's not exactly a vote of confidence, is it? Last five minutes, on you go, try and get a result for us. Oh, this is a big call. Massive call by Eric Ten Hag to make a double substitution with five minutes to go when you're 1-0 up. These players have got to get used to the pace of the game. And he has been plotting it for a while. He's decided to execute it as the celebrations go on with the 4,000 Manchester United fans in the corner of the city ground. Manu for McTominay. And Johnny Evans for Sofian Amrabat. And you see the plus five there. 
will obviously be a significant amount tagged on to that as a result of the VAR check and the substitutions. There's still time for Forrest, you can be sure of that. Whether they can make it happen, that's another question. Yeah, most of that four minutes 47 that you can see there on the clock was having a look at the goal and the substitutions. So we've probably got another four minutes at least. Not good news for those fans there. They came here expectant that their team would give Manchester United a real problem. Well, you hear it so often, Daniel Stewart, the fact that when you are on top, you have to make it count. And Forrest, particularly at the start of this second half, had moments, had chances. They haven't been able to convert. And the Fernandez-Casemiro combination after severe consultation from the VAR has got Manchester United on the brink of the quarterfinals of the Emirates FA Cup. And this is one of the reasons that Johnny Evans is on now, to win balls that are played towards their box. Linda Love is now playing at left-back, I think. Johnny Evans has gone in to send a half alongside Varane, and Dallow's come back to right-back. Frustration for him. We talked about his headed goals for Manchester United since he's joined them. There's another one to the collection. He was excellent last season. He's been nowhere near as good this year for several different reasons, I think. Doesn't look quite as fit, doesn't look as energetic. And this is shaping up to be such an important result for Manchester United. A uh, good start to 2024, their uh, five successive wins in all competitions. That all ended at the weekend. I couldn't say in uh, any convincing style that they've scintillated with their style of play here this evening, but they are very close to having got the job done any which way but how. At this stage, with the week they've had and the weekend they have to come, just about getting the job done. Garnacho. Mainu. Ribeiro. That's exactly where Manchester United want the ball. Those fans are starting to believe. It's almost as if he couldn't believe it when the goal went in. He was probably thinking about extra time. That's why he had the substitutions ready. I don't think they're going to play this into the box, are they? Felipe just getting involved with uh, Bruno Fernandes. Being led away. We know from his Atletico Madrid past, he is a, uh, a player who's not shy to get involved in a confrontation. I think you can say that about any back three that play for Atletico Madrid yeah. in recent times. Well, since taking the lead, they've managed this match pretty effectively, Manchester United. Just going through the formalities of checking that there's nothing uh, doing in terms of the uh, the incident we've just seen. I think Bruno Fernandes is saying that I always grab round the throat, and if a player has his, puts his arm up into that sort of area, usually there's a big punishment. Maybe that's what the VAR is looking at at the moment.
They've looked and decided that there's no violent action in that. Nothing that would merit a, uh, a red card. Offside. That's really poor from United on that occasion. Just had to keep the ball in that corner of the pitch. And it's now or never for Nottingham Forest. Murillo looks long. Elanga. Out by Evans. And Eric Ten Hag and Manchester United have found a way at the city ground. They left it late.